Stanbic Bank moving forward. Uganda discovered oil almost 10 years ago. There's six and a half billion barrels under the ground. About 1.5 billion is recoverable. We shall be the fourth largest producer of oil after Nigeria, Angola, and Congo. But more importantly, um, only about 50% of the area has been explored. In theory, we could have another one and a half billion of recoverable barrels. The idea is that we are going to pipe that oil into Tanga, roughly 200,000 barrels a day, and about 30,000 barrels will go into the refinery. So this created a huge opportunity in terms of opening that corridor of Uganda and Tanzania. Tanzania is looking at piping gas, they have huge fines of LPG, and we're piping the oil. Tanga is effectively going to be a Ugandan port, because all the products are going to end up there, so there's a lot of investment that's going into that place. So we're trying to create these synergies, create awareness, because we need your support to really ensure that the bank is well positioned to capture this opportunity, because this come once in a lifetime. We talk about the oil and gas um, as a story, but in my mind I think of it as a catalyst in terms of what it is going to open up uh, into other sectors. What I know is that, and which was done by space, provided for a refinery that has been developed over the three years, or three to five years, would be best if they go into related industrial activities around petroche petrochemicals. The oil will continue to have an impact on other sectors. We're looking at construction, keg of 10% for the next three to five years, manufacturing 6%. Even agriculture will grow significantly. Harnessing tourism, investment promotion, infrastructure, industrialization, improving service delivery, um, urbanization, and improving governance. Being the leading bank with the largest footprint in the country has become a competitive advantage. From uh, associated gas, you could be able to produce ammonia and then you produce urea. Now, urea and, uh, and, and phosphate are the two major um, uh, fertilizer components. Now, already we have phosphate in, 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 in Tororo. And then you have, you, you have gas, associated gas, from which you can produce urea. That puts us in the perfect position in terms of producing uh, of our, uh, uh, fertilizers for our own market and also export. But the associated gas that is going to be produced along with the oil that is inevitable is also not going to actually be injected as a It's almost like we need to play a trusted advisor role to some of his clients. We have a meeting and we highlight the facts about oil and gas and what we think. And then maybe that can be able to joke their minds. We always have to have the ecosystem in mind in terms of you know, what is the overall price. Yes, there are big ticket opportunities, but there is actually even more value we can get you know, through what currently sits as if it's not such a big opportunity. By doubling our size on exactly those particular other uh, industries, we will be able to you know, make a mark and really you know, uh, take you know, uh, this opportunity much further as such. Our job is actually to to, to provide the banking service and products to our clients. But in addition to that, we need to also consider to provide, you know, a value that we can bridge the gap that may uh, have between the Chinese community and the local communities. From a risk appetite perspective, we've got some sub-themes that have come out of it, making sure we understand local content, uh, targeted anchor clients, can we do operating leases? Do we have the right product set to meet with that? What are alternate funding models? We understand which customers are coming into the market. Most of the anchors have got lists of who they're going to use already, pre-qualified uh, vendors, etc. We want to look at that and say, what is our value proposition to those targeted customers? 
who should we bank, why should we bank them, how should we bank them, and then do we have the correct processes in place to do that. And from a collaboration perspective, are we cross-functional enough from a sector perspective, business units, countries, and it, it moved into saying, do we share enough information? Do we have a portal where people can access information easily, that's logical, and that actually starts adding value to the journey we're trying to undertake? If there ever was a game changer for the Standard Bank Group, this is it. Which means that actually we have to do more than just um, focus on what's happening in Uganda itself. In the region, we need to make sure that we bring the whole bank uh, along with us in this journey. So actually for us, it's a fantastic opportunity to promote this opportunity um, to the corporates in South Africa. And as a result of that, we've actually started a, an awareness program to see how do we actually uh, participate in what's happening here in, in, in Uganda and in East Africa. We have the big players like ECOP, and I think that's an obvious opportunity for us. And we have a current role in that project. But for us, we also want to look at the leading local partners who we see teaming up through JV structures with larger international players who would then present to us very um, defendable credit risks uh, for sizable checks. We also see not only senior debt for some of those JVs, we would like to um, support them in raising equity as well as general advisory given the experience of the international players and not necessarily the you know, similar experience of, of our local um, partners. So we see that touching on the industrials, the oil and gas, smaller um, partners, as well as fulfilling our local content objectives through that um, strategy. We do get a number of queries from our clients trying to understand what are the land reforms, what are the taxation impacts around the projects which they're looking to um, implement in Tanzania, how are they looking to incorporate their business so we thought it's important for us to prioritize this element to be able to streamline the questions which are actually come in directly from our clients. Are we ready from a, an IT perspective? Are we ready from our system perspective, from an operational perspective? What are the things that we need to do to be able to cope with the actual opportunity? Preliminary work that we've done, we've discovered that this Microsoft 365 has a fantastic app on it, uh, which is called uh, Teams. Um, and I think we've shown some of you some of the work that we've done in the recent weeks on this and hopefully we'll get most of you onto that uh, soon. Um, and I think that that is going to be um, a very good uh, start in terms of how we uh, find this uh, central communication uh, depository. We do think that as a bank and as a team we will have a lot of insight into the thinking from the government perspective as well as the private sector perspective. And we feel that we're in a unique position to actually bring some of that thinking together as well as align it for what we would believe would be more achievable financial um, packages. And so I think we are confident that we're very well positioned in this market and even in the region to drive the oil and gas sector forward through our work with the private sector as well as our UNOC and Ministry of Finance directly. Stanbic Bank, moving forward.